Hey there everybody, Matthew Armstrong here on day 75 of this 100 day financial freedom challenge and I'm going to tell you a sickening statistic uh, if you have your own home business and my guess is if you're watching these videos you probably have your own home business and if you're not successful yet um, well you, you actually do want to listen, I was going to say close your ears, no don't close your ears, listen and you, need to, you need to hear the truth, you need to hear the truth about this it's, it's a sickening statistic and the, the truth of it is that 95% of people fail in a home business. 95% of people, only 5% only of people actually uh, get to the point where they're making a full-time living. You know, that's really success in a, full, in a home-based business. If you can make a full-time living from it, you know, you're, you're pretty much successful at it, right? Um, well, depending on your goals. Some people just want a little bit of extra income, that's fine. But if you, if you want to make it your full-time thing where you don't have to go out to work anymore, you don't have to sit in traffic, you don't have to commute, you don't have to listen to some boss telling you what to do, you don't have to work with people you don't actually want to work with um, or do a job you don't actually like to do um, or get paid uh, a ridiculously low, low amount for the amount of time you're putting in or if you don't want to trade your time for money anymore which is the most precious resource you have, you don't want to do that, then you want to have a home-based business. But then You've, you've basically got a 95% chance of failing in that. And so why is that? You know, why do 95% of people fail in their home business? And it's really very simple. And, and I, I can see it. I can see it on my team about the people who are succeeding and the people who aren't. And it's simply action. It's simply that. The people that are taking consistent action every single day are the ones that are having su success. The ones that aren't, aren't having success, of course. You gotta take action, right? You know, if you if you have a if you open a, a shop or a store or something, you've got to get up every morning. You've got to go and open the doors. You've got to take the deliveries. You have to, you know, get the cash register going. You have to speak to customers all day. You have to, you know, have the place clean and tidy and put the stock out. And there's all these things to do. You gotta do it. If, if if you don't take action and do those things, then you've got no business. It doesn't work, right? So. Here's the difference. The, 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 here's the thing. In, in, when people have a home-based business, they don't take action. But why don't they take action? Why does someone who opens a store on the main street, why do they take action? Pretty much no matter what, they take action. You know, 99.9% .9 of people who open an actual bricks and mortar business, they take the daily actions. Why do they take the daily actions? And people who open a home-based business, 95% uh, don't take the actions. And the reason is, is that there's not enough at stake. For, for the person with a home-based business, there's not enough at stake. You know, if, if you just paid whatever it is, $25, $100, you know, to, uh, to, to get, get into one, then it's like, well, you know, what if you don't do anything? Well, what if you lost? Well, I've lost $25, I've lost $100 big deal, you know, it's, it's like it's not enough motivation to take action. You open a bricks and mortar business, you've probably taken out a big bank loan. You've spent maybe six months, you know, preparing that whole thing uh, before the doors actually finally open. You've got all your suppliers coming in, deliveries, you've got your staff who you're paying, you've hired on staff, you've got responsibilities, right? So then, you know, there's a lot at stake if you don't take action, right? There's a lot at stake if you don't take action. Home-based business, you don't take action, nothing much changes, you know? You still got your job there, you still got your other income coming for wherever it is, whatever it is, that's still happening, so there's not enough at stake. So, the, for, for the 5% of people who succeed, it's just psychology. They, they, just, they just decide that they're going to take action because you know they they create something what's at stake if they don't they see their life five years ten years twenty years down the line if they don't actually take the action um, or they've got a vision for a life that they want a high standard of living and then, then that inspires them to take the action or they simply want to help people they simply want to help other people um, create things in their life so then they take action and do that so Whatever it is, you've got, you've got to find what is that thing that's going to make you take action. And you've, got to, you've just got to know that, that 95% of people won't, 5% of people will. And who are you going to be? Are you going to be in the 95%? Are you going to be in the 5%? And it's a decision. 
something that's a common thread through all these videos I've said. It's a decision. Make a decision. You know, you don't have to join my team now. But make a decision to do something. And by now you know that you've got to make a decision. You've got to do it, right? Whatever it is for you, you've got to make a decision. And not making a decision is making a decision. You know, inaction is you know, making a decision not to act. Make a decision to act. You know, where are you going to be? Right now I make this decision. Are you going to be in the 95%? Are you going to be in the 5%? What's it going to take for you to do it? What's it going to take? You know, you've got to have the attitude. You know, that's why I call it team unreasonable, you know? You know, it's, it's the, the attitude of, of whatever it takes for as long as it takes. Yeah. Have the attitude of, this, of the person who has a bricks and mortars business. And quite often the person who has a bricks and mortars business, they've created um, a, a set of beliefs, they've created an attitude, so then when they open a home-based business, then they actually take the actions because they've already trained that into themselves and they know what it, what you need to do to actually be successful in business, to be a successful entrepreneur, you need to be committed. You need to take daily action. You need to do the things when you don't feel like doing them. That's the thing. You gotta you gotta get up and you gotta make yourself do stuff. You gotta get out of your comfort zone. You gotta take risks, right? The person who opens the store on the main street that's a risk, right? They don't know if that's going to be successful. They, they might have an idea, they've tested it here and there or whatever. You know, they see it at another time that it's working. But really, you know, it, it's a risk. And you've got to be prepared to take risks. You've got to take a risk. You've got to step into the unknown sometimes. You've got to treat your home-based business like it was that you know, in a shopping mall store that you've just opened or on the main street store. You've got to treat it like that and take the daily actions like it was that and you will receive the rewards from doing that. You'll receive massive rewards, much bigger rewards than if it was a real bricks and mortar business, if it was a, you know, a store or something like that. The rewards are far greater for the same energy put into a home-based business as you would put into a bricks and mortars business, the rewards are far greater, by far. If you, if you only realized the, the power of residual income, of compounded growth, you'd get so enthusiastic, you'd get so excited that nothing could stop you. You would just burn through any obstacle, any challenge at the, at the, the mere um, possibility of it. So that's what you got to do. Make a decision now. Um, it might be a good idea to join our team because we have the best vehicle to create that residual income, to you know, to live that life of just you know, compounded growth through a residual income. It's, it's, it's an amazing thing. It's very very powerful, and uh, and I, I'd like you to do it as well. You know. I'm doing it and it's awesome and I'd like you to do it. So click the link below, join our team. I'll see you in the next video.